We have a lot of smart, motivated, dedicated people together who want to see these patients have a different path. The technology's there for personalized medicine. The technology is there to make advances in rare disease. Fibrotic lung disease is a seriously under-recognized public health problem. 1% of all deaths in the UK are due to lung fibrosis, and IPF in the US kills approximately 40,000 patients a year. Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is the scarring of the lungs. Idiopathic means no known cause, and it's a very difficult disease to diagnose. And that's what Open Source Imaging Consortium is designed to do, to try to help understand this disease better. The first thing is, is the AI technology has the potential to provide patients anywhere in the world with expert level, accurate CT interpretation, which means faster, more accurate diagnosis. We don't want their lives to be shortened because of this disease. What we've tried to do over time is make progress in a way that allows me to give real hope to individual patients. Open Source Imaging Consortium is a nonprofit organization that crowdsources data and connects specialists to fight against idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis and other potentially fatal interstitial lung diseases. At the request of their primary care doctor, a patient visits a pulmonologist with symptoms of shortness of breath. The pulmonologist may order a high-resolution CT scan of the patient's lungs. Before the scan and patient's medical data leaves the clinic, it is removed of any personally identifiable information based on HIPAA and GDPR guidelines. It's then uploaded to O6 cloud storage repositories, built on Microsoft Azure. It's here that computational scientists, hospitals, and institutions around the world can access and build algorithms to analyze the largest, most diverse global data repository for interstitial lung diseases. All with the hope of closing the gap between a patient's first visit, receiving a diagnosis, and a possible treatment plan. This open-source, patient-centered approach addresses a desperate need for collaboration and innovation in healthcare. The OSIC project makes me passionate because healthcare is one of those industries that's ripe for change, ripe for digitization, and the vision and the direction of travel that they imagined has the potential to change the arc on rare diseases, the diagnosis of them, and the treatment of them across the world. So AI is very good at identifying complex patterns within large data sets and then mapping those patterns to simple classifications like diagnosis or whether a patient will progress. If you were to take a hundred chest radiologists looking at the same CT scan and evaluating it, you would almost certainly find that there's huge variability among those radiologists in their interpretation of that scan. About 50% of patients with IPF are misdiagnosed once and about a third of IPF patients are misdiagnosed at least two times. Radiologists and clinicians are using well-established patterns and ways of characterizing this disease. If we have this data that we have in OSIC, we can look at a completely new kind of approach. What we're hoping for actually is to find new kinds of patterns in these CT scans that the radiologists have never even thought about before. The greatest breakthroughs come at the intersection of different verticals. That's the premise of OSIC, bringing together radiology, pulmonology, computational science, bringing together academia, industry, philanthropy. That's where breakthroughs happen because you learn from people who have different vantage points. PwC have been instrumental in creating the interface between data contributors and the repository itself. And Microsoft is heavily invested in AI and healthcare, so they're an obvious choice. Data is the fuel that makes these engines go. The more data we have, the more confident we can be in the kinds of things we can do. We can make predictions of diseases. We can hopefully you know, try to characterize and understand better how these diseases work. That's why you need a consortium. You can't do that alone. We're generating the biggest repository for fibrotic lung disease in the world, which is vital for AI research in this field. Other disease spaces or other diseases that are considered rare can look at what we're doing and they can essentially replicate this open source model collating the data from all around the world. Anything that OSIC will create from an algorithm perspective or learnings perspective, we will give to the world. We wanted everyone to have a chance to use this data to be able to advance their scientific endeavors on behalf of patients. That's the future of healthcare.